Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carbo Gaming and another Destiny 2 Season of Plunder video. It is Zerday glitched out Zerday, September the 27th, 2022, my guardians. And Zer is back over here in the EDZ. So we're going to check out glitched out Zer and see what he has for us today. Once again, thanks for watching my guardians. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now glitched out Zer is only going to be around for a few hours after reset and then it doesn't show up all the time. So we're gonna check and see what Zer has for us today. Just in case, if you missed it last week, well, we're gonna have the same roles. Hopefully Bungie will change that. Let's go. And oh boy, do we have some fantastic items this week. Let's start off with the illustrious, illuminous, exotic, and grand, grand, grand. So we can get after all of these old exotics if you haven't already after. Now, we can get on to two random roles. One for the Hawk Moon, one for the Dead Man's Cell. Let's go over the Hawk Moon. This random roll comes with Chamber Compensator, Alloy Magazine, Hip Fire Grip, and Smooth Grip, making this a total PvE type of a roll. But then again, the Hawk Moon is always awesome in PvE and in PvP. So, not bad, not bad at all, Mr. Zer. Pick it up and add it to your collection. Next up, we have a Dead Man's Tail with Biagonal Rifling. We also have Accurize Around, Fourth Times the Charm, and last but not least, we have that lovely hand lace stop, making this an excellent roll for PvE and for PvP as well. Pick both of these up if you don't already have them and add them to your collection. Next up, we have our legendaries. We have a 7 Surfer VY 7 Submachine Gun, 600 RPM Precision Frame with the Stability Masterwork. Let's go over this one and see if it's a good roll. We got Chamber Compensator full born on this bad boy for a little bit more range, steady rounds as well as Alloy Magazine, fourth times the charm, and Dragonfly, a little bit of a hybrid roll right here, leaning more twice the PvE side of things, but still should do some work in PvP, so long as you hit your head size. Pick this bad boy up, and definitely add it to your collection if you don't have a 7 Surfa a VY. Next up, we have the iKilo SMG version 1.0.2, 750 RPM aggressive frame on this bad boy with a handling masterwork. Let's go over the traits. We got extended barrel pyagonal rifling. We also have extended magazine as well as flare magwell. And we also have a pretty good one, dynamic sway and surrounded. A little bit of hybrid rolling more towards the PVE side of things, but it still does work in PVP, but you got to have the right different perks and this one not so much so this one is going to be good in pve but in pvp not so much so a hard pass for me on that one next up the friction fire submachine gun is up next 600 rpm precision frame let's go over the traits on this bad boy because this one can be pretty good if you get everything lined up just right now we have a handling masterwork to start things off so yeah, not, not great. All right, we got chamber compensator as well as Piagma rifle extended magazine, alloy magazine, killing wind, and well spring. Yeah, this is going to be a PVE type of a roll, but it's going to be pretty good in PVE, but in PVP, not so much. Next up, we have a 7 Serpa CQC number 12 shotgun, 80 RPM lightweight frame on this shotgun with a reload masterwork. Let's go over. We got smooth born on this bad boy, corkscrew rifling, a pendant magazine, a light mag, lead from go, and shield disorient. Making this a subpar PVE roll, but they're getting shotguns are always pretty freaking good. So you can't go wrong with any shotgun inside of Destiny. This one's gonna be good in PvE and in PvP. You're gonna take a couple shots to knock down your guardian. Next up, the Fartha Sight shotgun. Little bit of a stasis damage on this bad boy. 65 RPM with the handling masterwork with barrel shroud, corkscrew rifling, a pendant magazine, extended magazine, dual loader, and thresh. Making this another rolled gear towards PvE. But in PvP, this one can be pretty deadly as well. So it's a little bit of a hybrid roll, but not bad in PvE and in PvP as well. Next up, we have the Cold Duelo Rocket Launcher. This one's gonna be a little bit of solar damage on this 15 RPM high impact frame with the Velocity Masterwork with Linear Compensator. We also have Quick Launch as well as Black Powder, High Velocity Rounds, Surplus and Frenzy, which is one of my favorite traits because you get a little bit of extra damage 
And because of that one, this is going to be a pretty decent roll. Not a god roll at all, but it's going to be pretty decent in PvE. And in PvP, you're going to have to hit him a couple times with that rocket. Next up, we have Annoying Hunger. Excellent. 600 RPM stability masterwork on this bad boy. We have Corkscrew Rifling. We have Smallborn, which is excellent. Now we have Accurize Rounds. We have Zen Moment. We have Kill Clip. We have ourselves a cut roll, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah. Excellent in PvE, excellent in PvP as well. You can't go wrong with this one. Pick this bad boy up and add a tail collection. Now for our armor, we have the simulator set. Total of 61 on the gloves. Hard pass for me for transmog, it's decent. We also have the chest piece, which is a total of 58. Excellent for transmog, at least in my opinion. The bond is probably one of the worst bonds that I've seen in all of Destiny 2. Hard pass for me, the helmet is pretty decent for transmog. I wouldn't pick it up. And it's a total of 61, so not that great. But the boots are total of 63, but all the stats is in the wrong spot. And the boots is pretty decent for transmog as well. So there you have it, my guardians. That is what Zer has for us this week, September the 23rd, 2022. Once again, thanks for watching, my guardians, and happy Friday. I hope you and yours are having a wonderful day. Thank you, thank you, and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.